Chapter 19 John and Reeves found Maria's and Michael's bodies in a puddle of blood on the control room floor. We should call the police. John choked out. Y yeah Reeves stuttered. When they turned around to leave, there was another in the control room. He wore a trench coat over his black hoodie and carried a gun in his left hand. He locked eyes with John. John froze as a chill ran down his spine. He knew who this was and who it wasn't. It was the same eyes, the eyes of someone who wanted him dead. It was the man who attacked that morning in the apartment. Doolittle, Reef said. But John knew this wasn't the same Doolittle. He looked older and meaner than the simple detective that had tried to interrogate him. Somehow, John knew this Doolittle didn't belong here. But before he could do anything, Doolittle had the gun locked on him. John closed his eyes and focused. When he opened them, it was in the building's lobby. He headed for the door, but stopped when he heard scuffling coming from the accelerator area. Reeves, he thought. He focused and was instantly back in the control room. Reeves had Doolittle pinned against the wall, but a punch from Doolittle sent him to the ground. Doolittle shot Reeves in the shoulder. John tackled Doolittle to the ground. Caught off guard, the gun flew from his hand and flung a few feet away. They both scrambled for it, but Reeves stopped Doolittle by grabbing his leg. Doolittle kicked Reeves in the face to release the grip, but John had the gun aimed at him when he got up. John held the gun as firmly as he could. Doolittle hocked a loogie on the ground. You okay? John asked Reeves. Besides being an excruciating pain, he said, I'm peachy. With the gun pointed at Doolittle, John helped Reeves to his feet. He was bleeding from his nose and shoulder. I know you attacked me two days ago, John said. You fool, Doolittle said. If you think I'm the same man that came to your apartment, you are wrong. What are you talking about? John asked. Look at him. Reeves plopped onto a nearby chair. He's obviously much older. This Doolittle may be from the future. You gotta be fucking kidding me, John said. What's your deal? Reeves asked. My deal is him. Doolittle nodded at John, who still had the gun. For me, he's the one that got away, he continued. In my time, he and I are the last two left. What are you talking about? John asked. It's been thirty years, but we made ourselves rich when we first discovered our powers. And then we tried to do good and change the world. <laughs> we called ourselves chrononauts. Many believed that we were dangerous, so we had enemies. When together, we were like gods. But when separated, we were vulnerable. Michael was the first to go in my time. How do you kill a man who can slow down time to where his movements look instantaneous? They trapped him. But with his death came a new discovery. We shared his power among the rest of us. I don't understand, John said. But you will, Doolittle said. This gift, these powers, they aren't individual. They are linked. We were, are linked. So when one of us dies, their power is split among the survivors? Reeves asked. Once I realized our enemies would never stop hunting us, I freed you all from a life of pain and misery. You killed them. Us. In your time. In your past. John said. Yes. Doolittle said. All except for you. When you found out what I had done, you ran away. Teleported. Disappeared. I faced our enemies alone. But you have been missing for years. Well, I'm sure that'll make a good prison story. Reeves struggled to pull out his cell phone, but used his good arm to dial 911. This isn't making any sense. We just figured out what we can do, John said. How did you get here from the future? Me, Doolittle said. Your Doolittle came to my time using his power. So, trapped him in the future that will no longer exist and came back here in his place. How? 
Why? Reeves asked. To find and kill me, John said. So he can get the one power he doesn't have to be the only chrononaut left. Yes. After I kill you, I can start over. Shape the world in my image. Become a god. John couldn't believe it. This was all to satiate Doolittle's obsession with being the only one with powers from the very beginning. Maria's death, Michael's death, and even the younger Doolittle were all victims of this menace. A wall of grief washed over John. Reeves was already speaking with the police. Doolittle looked to be waiting for a moment to attack. John wanted to fix this. But how? Reeves could rewind time. They could warn Michael and Maria before Doolittle arrives. Then, Doolittle attacked. Chapter 20 